Hi there, my name is William, creator of Morneo TV. Three weeks ago, the circus came to town, so I went along with my family and the show was amazing. I also feel very privileged to have been able to interview the ringmaster and to have spent an evening with the circus community. Well, I, I, I think uh, the circus have something very, very, very special about it and uh, the magic that people experience when they come and, and that's something you cannot find when you watch it from the TV or something because it's everything. It's the music, it's the smell of cotton candy and the sawdust and everything. I, I think it's magical and even I work in the circus, I see the show every day. It's still, it's still magical for me. So I, I think that that's the feeling that you get from the circus. So Circus Finlandia, it's the, the oldest circus in Finland. It uh, started in 1976 and it's the biggest traveling show now in, the, in Finland with a circus artist. The circus season is uh, seven months and we try to go all around the Finland. So we start from the south and go all the way up to the north and uh, so we go all around the whole country. So, and we think it's quite short season. So we try to use the time so we make as many shows as possible. So I think uh, like every day we have the time off uh, during the day daytime when everything is set up. Then we know that there is now time we can go and look around the city and rest and everything. So, and sometimes we have the days we don't have make a show, but those are the days we normally travel and we build up everything, but then rest of the day is free. Well, we have uh, about 80 people traveling with us and that's like all the people working with the circus, but also we have the children, we have the grandparents here. So we have a separate team for the building up the tent, but uh, then uh, some of the performers also want to help with some, some parts like uh, carrying the chairs and doing some small things, but uh, we have like a, mainly the crew that is just building up the tent and they are very fast with the thing. Uh, this year I haven't counted but uh, a couple of years ago I, I one day I just spent the whole day <laughs> counting uh, which country everybody's coming from and I got 16 different nationalities. It's about 50 vehicles and everything is pulling a wagon with them so it's uh, quite long uh, train yeah when we travel but we go always uh, like in the three parts. In the morning first goes the tent and the animals and then next goes uh, all the um, uh, wagons where the um, working stuff is living and the last is the performers so we try to not to stack the whole traffic while we travel. Also we are calling to each other and, and we are getting information if the traffic is stuck so then we stop somewhere to wait for the, the last ones to come and so we always uh, be in contact all the time when we are traveling. We have a uh, like a man who is uh, responsible for uh, transporting everything uh, he's giving us the orders how we travel each morning and uh, normally we try to have like a not so long travel so be, especially if we have the show at the same day we have to build up everything but uh, sometimes I think the longest uh, travel we have is from Ivalo to Kemijärvi about uh, four hours four hours and uh, when the tent and everything is ready but then of, of course the performers they will uh, bring their own stuff after that so it's uh, during the day is all the time something happening of course a uh, time when uh, we have to clean everything fix if something is broken so we have to also have uh, some time extra time for that uh, the break now it's uh, it's also about four hours also it depends also the ground sometimes the ground can be difficult so it's more uh, slow to pack everything but uh, but yeah about four hours now I think most of us use the GPS to find the location with the address but uh, in the old times they used to have like uh, arrows pointing to us that now you have to turn and even the uh, branches from the trees they used to have sometimes they put it next to the road and the circus people knew that oh this one means that we have to turn now and so also the ways they have been to find the place. We have a uh, one person who is uh, at, he's doing like uh, one year before already scouting the places and some uh, cities when uh, we don't have a place anymore it's sometimes hard to find a new place because it has to be certain size to get everything uh, fit inside there and also it uh, have to be a ground we can drive like uh, some places have very nice grass and they won't let the circus to come there to, we don't break the grass so it's uh, sometimes hard to find a place but the, he's uh, always talking with the cities and asking about the good locations and also now as you can see in this um, uh, uh, the Google uh, image uh, from the maps to see if there is some larger area and then finding out who owns this area and is it possible to use that and but it's a search yeah so we have uh, performers from all around the world and 
Some of the performers, they, uh, they send the videos and uh, they contact the boss of the circus and ask for the work. And then also our boss, he travels every winter in the circus festivals. And there is like the, normally the best new acts are there. So then the circus leaders, they will uh, just uh, try to get a contract with the good performers. And this is the way the performers come to us. Yeah, they, they actually all around the world they have the circus festivals, but uh, I think the main festival is at the Monte Carlo. That's the, like the biggest one. I was uh, 16 years old and I was uh, like a big fan of the circus. I always, when the cir circus came to my town, I was staying there all the time from the morning to evening and trying to help with the uh, small things there. And then when I was uh, 16 years old, I asked, uh, can I join the circus? And they say, yes, yes, please and come with us. Actually, the ladies over there who took me to work here. And uh, so I came and uh, I was supposed to be just one summer helping. And then next year I came back and I came back. And then finally I felt that maybe this is the place uh, where I feel comfortable. And, and I started uh, with building up the tent and working in the stables with the camels and horses. And, this was my first summer's uh, job and then uh, slowly I first I came, became uh, assistant for the magician and that was my first uh, work on the ring and then later I worked with the clown troupe as a clown and uh, did all sort of things in the ring as well.